Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my loyal subjects. Welcome to another episode of Vault Hunters. In today's episodes, we're going to make some farms for some of the materials that keep popping up in the Vaulter recipes. Most of these can be taken care of using Kajerium, but some of them will require botany pots or even thermal expansion, maybe another mod or two. Most of these will be put down in the lab, but there might be some that pop up in a room or two in the... Rude. Following my attempted assassination, uh, I guess we need to uh, make some fortifications of the castle. So, um, let's do something we haven't done in a little while and uh, do some building. Going to do it a little bit differently this time, or at least going to attempt to. Uh, I've recorded some time-lapse footage and uh, I'm going to chuck it in here. We'll see how that goes. First time ever doing time-lapse footage. So bear with me if it is kind of messed up. Anyway, let's hop into it and get going.
All right, let's uh, go take a look at the outside of the castle. As you can see, we did a lot of detail work, specifically around the base of the castle and uh, the walls of the castle. There are some points in the castle that still look a little bit bland, like this wall, for instance. Not much I can do about that, except to say that as we continue to build up, um, it should become a little less bland. And as you can see from this angle, um, we also extended the cliffs down into the river running beside the castle. And we can't forget about the front entrance. These two jutted out sections that I didn't really have a plan for and just kind of winged the builds on uh, turned out to be pretty cool. And we've started putting in the path to the harbor. Just wanted to point out too that I've started working on the layout of the uh, third floor of the castle. Definitely not final, just marking out some possible areas. Also put some lighting up in the central courtyard on the second floor, just so that stuff can't spawn up here, as well as we have a decent lighting uh, throughout the build. Uh, I've also worked on one other build. We now have a new trophy room. If we come out of our storage room, and around the corner and to the right this is our new trophy room it has places for all eight relics as well as some minor trophies uh, like a few of the transmogs that we've unlocked so far and any other thing anything else that i might want to put down here pretty happy with how this build turned out anyway as usual we're out of chromatic steel so Let's vault. Hmm. An obelisk vault. I actually have only completed one obelisk vault. And personally, I feel like they just got a little too difficult. There's a <clears throat> recent update, if you haven't noticed, that prevents the vault timer from starting uh, until you cross this threshold right here. As soon as you go over those blocks, the timer starts. So, we'll let the vault load up a little bit, give it a little bit of buffer um, before we head out. Alright, that should be good enough. Away we go. Now, oh, and there's an obelisk right there. Apparently didn't give it enough of a buffer. To try the bosses or to not try the bosses? I guess that is the question. Ooh. Ouch. Messed that up. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Since we found the obelisk in that room, we'll move on to the next one. And there's the obelisk in this room. So many archers. That one kind of sucked. Moving on though. Apparently they really want me to complete this one. And there's another one. Holy. One more. No obelisk in this room, so we'll move on to the next one. I have gotten really lucky with the obelisks so far. Ooh, hard spider dungeon. Mm, I might bite it here, but I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, and it's living. Heck yeah, bud. Yeah. And there's my body. Bounty, nice. I did not think I was that close. Freaking spiders. Get, getting out of here. Let's take the oars. No obelisk in there either, so head into the next room. Oh, I'm not going to worry about those POIs. And we continue on. There's my last obelisk, so we'll clear out this room. 
if we can, we'll go back and get some wars. And then we'll kill it. Oh, there's a new dungeon here. Alright. Obelisk. We're running out of time. And there we go. And still not enough carbon. So let's run another. Well, that's a lot of monoliths and not much time. So probably not going to happen, but we'll see. tanks in this vault for no reason. More tanks. Come on. And a little dungeon. No, I'm good. Looting and scooting. This, I believe, is an ore room. Yep. Alright, just continuing on. Freaking tanks. Only got a minute left anyway. Also saw some gilded over here. Still need more. Alright. One more. Hey. Alright. So we've got a horn vault, which is plus 50% item quantity, and a scav vault. Scav kinda sucks. A little bit. But totally doable. Hey, right, I think that's enough. Let's go. Oh, I forgot about creepers. Dungeon. Normal. We have ornate. And I don't need ornate for the scab either. But I need carbon. And there might be a tome down here. So. There we go. And there it is. Future Dad Man here. While editing this video, I realized that I did an absolutely terrible job ex of explaining what this is. This is a modifier archive, which can only be found in large dungeons. Right-clicking this archive unlocks a random modifier that you can craft onto a piece of gear using the modifier workbench. In case you missed it in the next clip, this one in particular unlocked plus 7-8% to 8 lucky hit chance on Vault Swords. Pog! Alright, now we try for the completion. Uh, getting everything I don't need. Everything I don't need for the scab, anyway. Hey, there's a chest type I need. Uh, it doesn't look like I got anything I need, though. Wooden...
I mean, this is really good for my carbon issue, but not for much anything else. Hey, more wooden. Yeah, I was afraid I wasn't going to make that. Wars. Did I get any? No. Cool. Oh, there's a dungeon here. Uh, of course. Ooh, finally some living. And one drowned hide. Skipping the coins. Wooden. More ornate. There's some living. And no drowned hide. Wooden. Oh, is this an ore room? No. It's a carved room, so there might be large deposits of chests. Just finding the right ones, the right chest types. So there was literally only wooden in this room. Awesome. I should be able to get my ore scab items here. There's one. And there's two. Alright. I would love to loot this, loot this room completely, but unless I see Echo, we need to move on. No Echo, and no Echo. Yep, we need to move on. Oh, I didn't see this one. No Echo. Let's go! Alright, quick scav check. We still need living, and we still need gilded. And we still need some fighters. And there's some gilded. There's one red scroll. More gilded. One more red scroll. There's the red scrolls. So all we need now is living. And fighters. Wooden. Wooden. Come on, living. Where are you? Not there. That was kind of close, not gonna lie. Still need living. It's wooden. Wooden. Living. One drowned eye. That means I need four more. I'm going to have to start heading back. Hopefully we see some living on the way. There's some more nates. Wooden. Wooden. Not looking good. Yep. Nope. Not gonna happen. That sucks. Alright, let's go take a look at the jewels and gear we got from the vault runs we've done. And then we'll probably call it an episode. As far as jewels go, we got quite a few good ones. That top row in this chest is all legendary. We've got some legendary reach, durability, mining speed. Uh, this is a legendary mining speed with coin affinity. Trap disarm chance... Item quantity and durability. Again, these two here are just a couple of hammer sizes. Will be useful for when we go to make our new hammer. The one we have is almost kaput. This one down here in the corner is a uh, new. We recently updated the server um, to 3.11.5, and this guy is part of that. Hydrovoid. It mines water, or more accurately, it voids water. Now let's go check out our gear. Alright, this is what we're keeping as our backups. A couple things of note in this collection. An Omega Wand and Omega Pants. We might be getting ready to make a new set of gear. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I uh, really do hope that you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!